Hello, welcome to Easy Eatery. My name is Angela and today we're going to make this beautiful roast with some vegetables and we're going to put it in the Ninja Foodi. So I'm really excited about this. So let's go give it a try. Welcome on in. Let's start off by turning our Ninja Foodi onto the sear function and let's heat up some oil. While the oil is heating up, I'm gonna grab some Suzy Q and I'm gonna put this on my roast. My roast is 1.78 pounds, just so you know. <laughs> it does make a difference when you're cooking it. We're just gonna go ahead and pat our seasonings right in there. Flip it over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now, if you don't have Suzy Q, just use your favorite all-purpose seasoning or steak seasoning. Now, let's go ahead and drop that into our heated up pan. I let it hang out there for about four minutes on each side. So I'm just gonna kind of flip that around and just try to get that perfect little sear on there. We're gonna go ahead and sear this little, literally on all sides. So just pick it up and hold it there with your tongs. It only takes like about three minutes or so. And because we want it to be completely seared, it's gonna hold in all of those juices and make it just so fall apart, moist and juicy and tender. I am all about the flavor packets, so I'm gonna use this au jus um, gravy packet. You just add it to some water, three cups actually, and we're just gonna go ahead and dump that right on in there. Now I cut up some, um, some onions, some celery, and some um, potatoes. So I just, my yellow potatoes were actually a little on the big side, so I just cut those in half. And then of course, add my carrots. <laughs> Love carrots, they're like my favorite. And let's go ahead and try and push those down into those juices. And then we'll add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to give it that more in-depth flavor. And I'm gonna use a little more Suzy Q and sprinkle that on top. You can add some rosemary, you can add some, you can add any, all of any seasonings you'd like right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm using my slow cooker this time because I've never tried it out before. So I am really excited about it. Now you, you can slow cook it at, um, on high for four hours or you can do it in the pressure cooker for one hour and a half with a natural release. And just like that, we did it. Check it out. Obviously, you can tell how tender it is right here because part of the roast is stuck in there somewhere. We're gonna have to go fish that out <laughs> along with all of our vegetables because, oh my gosh, it's so good. This smells so good. My house has been smelling so amazing like all day long. I cannot wait to dive into this. Let's take a closer look. Well, let's see. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Reminds me of a Sunday meal. I made a little plate for myself over here and for you too. Oh, bye. It's pretty good, I think. I think it is. Let's take it. Take a bite. Mmm, so good. It is seasoned to perfection. It is nice and tender. Um, oh my gosh, it is fabulous. No joke. Gotta take a bite of a carrot. Carrots are my favorite. I love carrots. That Suzy Q, it's a miracle worker. So good, so good. Gotta try a potato, of course. This meal is so delicious. Like, Wow. Anyway, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do a lot of easy recipes and I'd like to use lots of kitchen gadgets. So if you're into that kind of stuff, follow along. Um, if you're, and also please give the video a thumbs up. I would certainly appreciate that. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.